Evolution usually takes thousands of years, but you might see some changes as soon as 2050. With impressive new technologies and constant changes, men and women won't be the same in the near future. Or not even completely human. Did you know that cyborgs already exist? Watch our video to learn more about them. Make sure you like this video, and if it is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Today, we are showing you what humans will look like by 2050. The Beauty of Colors Interracial relationships are becoming more and more accepted in America as people realize that love is colorblind. With 15% of new marriages between people of different races, we can see multiracial babies being born every day. Humans are not only white, black, or Asian. Soon, we will also be Blackanese, Filipino, Chicanese, or Quargentinian. You can already see many good-looking multiracial men and women in the United States, and there will be much more in the following years. Since 2000, the Census Bureau lets us check more than one race at the same time and 6.8 million people did so. Then, 10 years after, 9 million Americans identified themselves as multiracial. It represents a third of the population. Some of your friends are probably part of them, and that's what makes them so beautiful. Next time you ask someone where they are from, their response might be much more complicated, and that's what makes it so interesting. This won't be the story of one race, but the story of humanity. With so much diversity, we will become one giant amalgamated mega race in which everyone will be different and equal. This will completely redefine how we imagine racial identities. Could it be the end of discrimination based on race? We hope so. The Real Gattaca if you have seen the science fiction movie Gattaca, you had a glimpse of what the future could become soon. In the film, parents can select their best genes to make sure their children will be healthy and live for a long time. They can even choose what they will look like. What was one chance out of a million became a simple choice in Gattaca. This leads to a new generation of perfect human beings. This future is not far from us as the technology needed to do this already exists. It is now possible to create little humans with in vitro fertilization and sperm donors. Parents can choose some of their children's characteristics so it suits their preferences. With this new technology, humans will be more healthy, handsome, and strong in 2050. However, some parents are not looking for perfection, but for something different. Two deaf mothers asked for the help of a sperm donor to make sure their child would be deaf too. They argued that it was not a defect but an identity and a culture. What do you think of selecting your children's genes? Do you think it is a good idea? Tell us in the comments down below. The Extinction of Redheads By 2050, you should see fewer people with red hair. It takes only one red-haired parent to give birth to a ginger-headed baby. But fewer redheads have a baby together, which decreases the chance of having a baby with that hair color. Right now, less than 2% of the world's population has red hair and there will be less in the following years. But should we really try to protect the redheads from extinction? The natural red hair was created by a mutation in Northern Europe thousands of years ago. At first, the body of gingers produced more vitamin D from sunlight, which was beneficial. But now, they are only more prone to skin cancer and are more sensitive to temperature. Is the end of redheads simply positive for human evolution? Some scientists think there will be no redheads as early as 2060. Others think that the gene is dormant and will come back later. But if you want to save the redheads, there is one thing you could do. Move to Scotland. It is estimated that 40% of Scottish carry the red gene, so if you have red hair, you might like to join them there. The End of Evolution Even though we expect humans to evolve just like they did before, some scientists think they won't. We'll be the same in 2050 and in thousands of years, too. Evolutionary changes usually happen in isolated populations so human and animals can adapt to their unique habitat. A genetic mutation is passed down through generations because of its benefits to help the species survive until it becomes the norm. This is what happened in Galapagos with the animals that Darwin studied. But humans are not stuck on an island, they are part of a huge community all around the world. They also have everything it takes to live anywhere on the planet. As you can see, Native Americans are the same as Europeans, even if it took thousands of years for them to meet. Men and women found another way to adapt to their environment. They use new technologies instead of waiting for evolution to happen. Moreover, not only the strongest humans survive, we found out how to help the weakest so they have the chance to live too. This means that everyone passed down their genes, not only those who are more prone to survival. We are going to learn how to live with ourselves as we are. But aren't those imperfections what make humans so beautiful? The New Body Size 
The more children you have, the more genes are passed to the next generation, the more humans will look like you. Scientists found out that women who tend to have more children are shorter and stouter. These two characteristics have a high level of heritability, so it is easier for them to become part of natural selection. Scientists also predict that the children will have lower cholesterol levels, have lower blood pressure, tend to have their first child earlier, and reach menopause later. This will give them more chances to have a lot of babies too, so many humans will be smaller and plumper by 20 2050. You might have heard that men and women are taller than they used to be before. It is true, but for a different reason. We are more healthy and wealthy, so we are now able to reach our genetic potential in height. However, humans' maximum height will soon become lower and lower. Even if we find a way to live on Mars, our body will use more energy for maintenance than for growth. Humans will only become shorter no matter where we live. Don't feel bad if you don't look like a tall and slim top model. Being short and chubby is the future of humanity. The future of us. What will we look like in 2050? Old. Life expectancy was about 45 at the beginning of the 20th century, and it is about 80 today. Scientists suggest that with the advancement of technology, life expectancy could increase to 120 as early as 2050. That's almost the same age than the oldest woman who ever existed. She was 122 years old at the time of her death. Men and women will have fewer children at an older age, so they can focus on something that is more important for them. Instead of producing children in quantity, they will produce children in quality. Our goal will be to make sure our offspring are as successful as possible because we will have time to do so. We already dedicate more time to our children than any other primate, and it will get more extreme over time. Humans can't only give life to their offsprings, they also need to give them the knowledge to live in our modern world. This is why parents of the future will be more focused on cultural reproduction than biological reproduction. As scientists said, instead of living fast and dying young, we will live slow and die old. What would you like to do if you could live up to 120 years old? The Power of the Brain the universal human ambition is to be more intelligent. We value this skill because we can do anything we can imagine with it. We won't wait for natural selection to give us this power as we will find a way to be smarter with the use of technology. In 2013, scientists started working on a way to choose the most intelligent embryo out of 10 with the help of in vitro fertilization. They think this innovation could help parents improve their child's IQ by 11.5. And that could be even higher if women accepted to undergo intensive hormone treatments. This means that in 10 generations, the average IQ could be 115 points higher. Even though this future is far from us, it will be possible to see a difference in 2050, if we start using this new technology soon. There are about 10,000 genetic variants associated with intelligence, which makes this kind of research intimidating. But some scientists are optimistic. They think we could be able to start cognitive enhancement in the next 10 years. This this means that we might have the chance to choose the IQ of our own kids. With the help of the best teachers, the children from the next generations could become geniuses. The Loss of Teeth don't worry, you won't be losing all your teeth as it happens in a nightmare. However, humans might not have wisdom teeth anymore in the following years. Humans used to have larger jaws thousands of years ago because they ate things like leaves, roots, and raw meat. They also needed teeth to replace those they lost after they missed their appointment with the dentist. However, we don't need wisdom teeth anymore, and there is not even enough place for them in our mouth. This is why many people need to have their third molars removed. But some people's teeth got the memo and never started to grow. Wisdom teeth don't appear in 35% of the population. Scientists think that it means that wisdom teeth could completely disappear in the following years. They aren't sure of the role DNA plays in the development of these teeth, but they already have many proofs that the evolution is there. Even though they won't be long gone in 2050, we can predict that fewer people will grow these useless bones in their mouth. If it can keep away from feeling a lot of pain after going to the dentist, it is certainly worth it. The Real Life Cyborgs Technology improves our lives, and it is starting to enhance our body too. Cyborgs aren't only a part of our future, they are also part of our present, and it will only get better. The world's first cyborg already exists today. A man couldn't see colors, so he asked a surgeon to implant a device in his head. Now he can hear the sound of color with an antenna that transmits vibrations to his brain. With the device connected to Bluetooth, his friends can even send him colors through their smartphone. The cyborg says that there is no difference between a software and his brain, or his antenna and any part of his body. He is technology. Now that it is possible to turn a human into a cyborg, many persons will probably want technological enhancements in the near future too. People who suffered from injuries also replace their limbs with robotic prosthetics. More of us might be able to do the same soon by using technology to develop new skills. 
What superpower would you like to have if you were a cyborg? Tell us in the comments down below. We love to hear from you. The Humans of the Future A scientist imagined what humans' faces would look like in 100,000 years. Even though this is far from now, we might start seeing differences in the following years. And it is funny to see that they look like cartoon characters with their big head and huge eyes. The predictions were based on what living environments could look like in the future with the new technologies and climate. Men and women's forehead will be bigger to accommodate a larger brain. Skin will be more pigmented and their eyelids will be thicker, so humans will be less sensible to harmful UV radiation. They will also have large nostrils to breathe more easily and denser hair to keep their head warm. Moreover, people won't only evolve to live better but also to look better. This is why parents will choose features they think is appealing like intense eyes, a straight nose, and perfect symmetry. Men and women from the future could also be enhanced by discrete technological implants to keep their natural human look. Now that we can imagine what humans will look like in thousands of years, it would be fun to think what prehistoric men thought we would look like, don't you think? Which evolution would you like to see in 2050? We would like to hear from you in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and if you want more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to The Things. Thanks for watching.